I don't have any more PTO, and if I take any more, my boss said they're gonna fire me, but I don't know how else to, to deal with these doctor's appointments, because I'm really hurting. I, I just, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now this was a call our team got recently from a client who's, who's dealing with that issue, and they were looking for some advice, some, some guidance on how they're supposed to manage their time off from work. So my name is Lloyd Bouchon, I'm a personal injury attorney with Austin Metairie in Lulu, Louisiana. We help injured folks deal with the realities of their situation every day. What we told this client is let's talk a little bit about your situation. Why are you taking so much time off of work? And in any case, that's really where you want to start is why are you taking so much time off of work? Is it because of the pain? Is it because of the doctor's appointment? Is it because of you're just not feeling well? And from there, we can maybe develop some strategies to help you manage that. If it's because of doctor's appointments, maybe it's you need to get on the phone and, and try to work with your doctor to either get appointments early in the morning, later in the day, on the weekends if possible, to try to minimize the impact to your day, to your time off of work by coordinating your appointments a little better. Maybe it's trying to get multiple appointments set on the same day where they're not spread out um, over multiple days. If it's pain, uh, maybe it's we just need to get more treatment, a, a better maybe diagnosis, a different type of treatment to kind of get that pain under control. Because obviously pain is going to be a big component when you're injured, but the treatment you're receiving, we want to try to start getting that pain under control. And if it's if it's not under control, then maybe we need to, to look at, have your doctors look at the next step, whether that be a surgical intervention, pain management, physical therapy, or some other type of a modality that can start to get the pain under control. And in some cases, it may just be trying to have a frank conversation with your, your employer about your situation and asking for a little understanding. It may be if your employer is big enough, utilizing some of the benefits that are available to you, like FEMLA, it's a Family Medical Leave Act, which allows a certain number of days off per year when you are dealing with medical issues, which this clearly would be. It may be trying to work with your employer for some accommodations, at least temporarily. You know, hey, you know, your pain is worse in the morning, but it subsides or the medication takes effect and you're much better in the afternoon. So can we make a schedule to where you come in later, but work later? Each situation, each fact pattern is gonna be a little different. What we want to do is talk with you and try to scope out the best uh, potential solutions and just start working on them. There may be no perfect way to manage how much time you have to take off. You should also know that if you do take off time from work and if it's paid or unpaid, make sure we document all those days you're missing, all those hours you're missing, even if they're paid like vacation time, sick time, document that. And we can include that as a component of economic damage, a special damage in your case. So once again, my name is Lloyd Bourgeois. I'm a personal injury attorney. I can be reached at ljblegal.com. That's L as in Lloyd, J as in Joseph, E as in Bourgeois.com. Look forward to the opportunity to speak with you and help you if the opportunity arises.